Hey guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot, and today we're doing a reading for Angelina Jolie and her future spouse or her spouse. She may already be married. We have confidence is key to your success. We have it's time to release negativity and your heart work is paying off and believe in the impossible. So we have the new moon in Leo, the full moon in Scorpio, the new moon in Capricorn, and the blue moon. Wow, okay. So let's get a few more cards to see what else we have for Angelina. Let's see. What else can you tell me for Angelina? Okay, we have fairy of the highlands it's time to be brave okay we have uh nautilus prince power personal growth i like it and lady of the bosch egg an ancient for ancient wisdom nice and what's on the bottom of the deck uh grumpy red fairy be your true self so don't pretend to be something you're not i don't understand why people are so afraid of being authentic be who you are be happy of who you are we are all if we we're all the same it would be pretty flipping a boring don't you think <laughs> so there's a reason we're all different so i think it would be pretty boring actually if everybody was the same so have that uh, authentic ability of believing in yourself that there's a reason why you are the way you are so it's only one one of you right so let's see for Angelina Jolie please and her spouse hmm. Angelina Jolie and her spouse. Okay, whoa. Okay. So we have the Ten of Cups in reverse. So somebody's a little unhappy right now. Um, I think this one came out next. Somebody's in their head um, about something, about walking away, being single, thinking about their future. Maybe manifesting something different for themselves. Hmm, Angeline. Uh, making a judgment call here. What's going on here? Ooh. <laughs> wow, okay. Well, that's a lot of cards. So, but we'll take them. So I'm going to put that one there, that one there, move along, that one there, there we go. So, <clears throat> so somebody's thinking about becoming single, walking away from a relationship here. They've been thinking about this often, they're not happy right now. They're looking at what the future holds, maybe manifesting something different. Making a judgment call to have some type of victory, not crying over anything anymore. Um, Queen of Swords in reverse, so kind of being kind of malicious or angry or there's a storm brewing here. Maybe seeing something differently and not having, like recovering from some type of gossip or some type of defeat. Or not feeling defeated anymore something along those lines what wasn't being paid attention to is now somebody is paying attention to something here hmm what could it be for Je uh, Angelina Jolie ten of cups in reverse please we clarify the ten of cups in reverse so it looks like Angelina might be a little unhappy or it could be her person they're remembering uh, being single nine of pentacles here being sufficient and good all on their own 
What is the Eight of Swords here? Why is the Eight of Swords here being in their head about wanting to leave or wanting to go to calmer waters here? What is this? Yeah, being happy with the Ten of Cups. Just wanting to be happy. What is this Six of Swords about? Yeah, not moving forward and not walking away from this. What is the Nine of Pentacles here for? Hmm. Maybe wanting to give an offer to someone else. What is the future here? Should I go? Should I stay? What is the Two of Wands? Clarify the Two of Wands, please. Ooh, the King of Wands is here. So somebody else might be here that Angelina is thinking about. What's the Magician here? Not taking the leap of faith here. Maybe not wanting to take the risk. What's the judgment? Six of Swords, not walking away from what she's already doing. Doesn't want something to end or isn't prepared to end something to come towards this other person. Because she's not sure she's going to make the right judgment call when it comes to this. What's the victory card here? Yeah. Seven of Swords in the reverse. So, and it was kind of on the fence here. So, thinking about some betrayal or not wanting to think about how they betrayed her or she betrayed them. Wanting a victory here, the Seven of Swords in reverse. What's the Seven of Swords? Yeah, wanting to put down that um, Ten of Swords, that burden, that uh, betrayal. No longer, it's kind of healing from all that since they walked away, since she walked away possibly. What is this Five of Cups in reverse? Five of Cups in reverse. The hermit so kind of like um, just going and having that self-love doing that introspect looking inside reflecting on what might be some of the heartache or the heartbreak or just things in general just getting over whatever this betrayal was trying to mend things possibly here what's the queen of swords in reverse queen of swords in reverse yeah putting an end to something here maybe some type of behavior looking at something in a different perspective so or taking the time won't be rushed about a decision what's the hangman yeah king of cups here so it could very well be that she's looking at her husband that she's with now or the spouse she's with now and feeling it's kind of risky to walk away from this person. Wanting to get over this walking away from somebody here. Not sure if they should or not. Taking the time to heal something here and ending some type of behavior here. Maybe having a different perspective on someone. What's this Five of Swords here in reverse? Hierophant. So, healing some type of defeat here. Um, maybe looking at things spiritually or in a different way of her husband, the person she's with already, the person she loves. What's the Hierophant here? Why is that here? This is her marriage, whoever she's already married to. Yeah, she doesn't want to have a third party, so maybe she was entertaining the idea of maybe seeing somebody from her past. Maybe somebody she was married to. They don't celebrate seeing her, though. What's the Three of Cups in reverse? 
three of cups in reverse. It's the queen of wands, but she came out sideways here. She came out on the fence. Not really sure about what she's going to do, what she's going to move forward or not. Why is the queen of wands here? Why is the queen of wands here? Hmm. I kind of feel like she planted these seeds and it's not growing enough for her. Something's not going as what she planned. The page of wands in reverse. Hmm. I kind of feel like the person's energy that she's with maybe is a little pessimistic maybe or unreliable. Maybe lacks goals or gets distracted easily. Maybe is gullible about things. Yeah, getting over some defeat here. I kind of feel like she's realizing that she can't go back. She can't undo what she did. Yeah, when it comes to the past. Yeah, something's unchanged here. Very jealous. She gets really jealous. Yeah, she can't really go back on what she's already had happen here, no matter how much she wished she hadn't done something here. She's paying attention to things now and maybe changed her perspective about somebody here. But there isn't really anything else that's coming up other than she wished she could have changed something that she did in her past keeps going and revisiting that knowing that she has to put an end to that way of thinking and there is the death card here so her behavior she's putting an end to some certain type of behavior that she maybe had in the past so yeah she's gonna release that negativity and believe in the impossible maybe things will change for her in the near future where she's going to be a little more happier in the relationship she already has so in any case i'm gonna leave it there please like share and subscribe <laughs> give me that thumbs up if you like my readings and stay blessed i appreciate each and every one of you and we will see you next time all right later